has the nerve to just walk in and crash our party like no, this. Well, he's got a right. In a couple of hours, he's going to be owning this place. Yeah, he probably thinks we're going to rip off a microphone or a camera or something. Honey, come on. I want that guy get to you and spoil the party. Hell, Ruby, the night tonight we're all supposed to have a really great time. It's going to seem kind of strange to leave it this. No, oh, I remember plenty of times when you said you never wanted to see this studio again. I had some good times, too. You know, it seemed like only yesterday when uh, my sister Ruby here bowled her way in here with a bouquet of balloons. <laughs> bouquet of balloons? Well, it worked, didn't it? I mean, it got me through that guard's desk and got me to see Phil Roberts. <laughs> I still have a trick or two up my sleeve. Here it goes again. Yeah. What are you planning to do? Nothing, honey. Nothing. Yes. What do you suppose my chances are of getting a tape of Mildred's recitation of High Water? Oh, I think I could have that arranged. You do no such thing. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping to make that an annual event. Oh. I don't suppose they'll be having that telethon here next year. That will be up to Tom. Really such a shame you're losing KVIK this way. Miller's absolutely right. Sad day for everybody here in Houston. Well, thank you both very much, but uh, I don't think it's that much of a tragedy. I think perhaps it's time for all of us to move on to something new. What sort of plans do you have? Well, I'm thinking of going to London. Oh, Jenny! Jenny! Oh, what a wonderful surprise! I didn't think you'd make it back in time for the party. Oh, miss this for anything. Thank you. I'm just so sorry I didn't get a chance to see Rita before she left. Oh, she left a letter. It's at the house. Well, look who's coming here. Oh, Hello, there, no. DJ. Hi. Well, now, hey, hey. DJ. Aren't you excited? Uh, Aren't you look lovely to see me? Oh, flattery must spread in your family. Only when it's most deserving, you lady. Okay. Ruby, what are you going to do? Nothing. You don't even like cheesecake. Nope, I don't. But I thought maybe Tom Brandon would. Ruby, you cannot do a thing like that. Yes, I can, Lurleen. He took away my brother's talk show, he fired Ricky, and he replaced Vicki Bellman with Stella Stanton. And it's going to give me great pleasure to deliver this cheesecake. Ruby! Uh, Tom, this is a private party. That's being held on my property. Uh, not yet. KVIK is still my station and will be my station until midnight. Well, aren't you splitting hairs? Uh, perhaps, but um, really, Tom, I think it's in your best interest if you don't stay. Are you asking me to leave? That's exactly what I'm doing. Vicky, I can't imagine what has come over you. Mrs. Bellman, do you need any help? Uh, no, no, uh, thank you, Ruby. I think Tom is just about to say goodbye. Very well, ma'am. No sense in causing a scene. Happy New Year, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. I should have taken care of that earlier. Well, you always did have more class than me. Oh, you always had more fun. <laughs> I would like to say that I have never seen a display of worst manners. Now oh, shut up, Stella. Oh, to Well, look at you. Gregory. Oh, 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 so happy to hear your news. Yes, would you please excuse me a moment? Uh, yes. Thank you, Bill. Tell me, how is Ashley and the baby? No, well, they're fine, aren't they, Dad? That's right. Now that Ashley's back, everything's going to be just fine. Well, that's what T.J. said. We're so grateful. Now, Master Gregory, I want to hear all about that baby sister of yours. Well, she's real beautiful, and her name is Catherine Page Marshall. She looks a lot like my mom. No doubt about it, Ricky. L.A. is just going to love you. Yeah, pal. You're going to have a great time out there with all those beach bunnies and starlets. Huh? Uh, oh, you think this one's going to have a good time? You just wait to see the effect your little sister has on Alaska. You know, I heard up there that the men outnumber the women two to one. That's not why I'm going. The one is why you bought her a goat. I love my goat. Please, I can understand you getting attached to a, a, a mink or a chinchilla, but a goat, I mean... Here's the Lurleen's goat. Terrific! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> That's like milk out of a champagne glass. <laughs> That's right. You want some more? Uh -uh. I might have to drive. The doctors? Now, the doctors there is good for you. You shouldn't be drinking. I'm serious. The Mark Wheeler, anxious father. Oh, I'll get no, it. Now we're talking. <laughs> When the time was right, I'd be able to walk. Just like that? Well, actually, it happened a few days ago, but I've been so busy trying to hold on to your father that I pretended I couldn't. What changed your mind? Let's just say that I got tired of a lie. Miss Brett, your mother has done the most wonderful thing. Where is Dan? He's where he ought to be, where he'll be happy. Why isn't he here? Mark, I'm not sure I understand either, but I promise I'll tell you all about it later. Right now, I'm here for a part. Mom, are you sure you're ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Vivian, I think this is something I have to do on my own. Okay, Jim. Thank you. <laughs> well, Kel, surprise! Who would have dreamed that the lovely Mrs. Wheeler would be joining us? Hello, Stella. How would you like to be the first to know the juiciest piece of gossip in Houston? Why, I just love it. Grant and Judith Wheeler are getting a divorce. How tragic. Oh, not really. Well, you know, thank heavens your children are grown. It's really so sad when they're young. Yes, that's true. I think this custody action will probably revolve around world oil. Hello, Vicky. How wonderful to see you recovered and, and looking so well. Uh, thank you. I know Rena will be very pleased. Rena will be very happy for you. Where's Grant? Where do you think? like a glass of champagne. I'll get you one, Judith. Oh, Ruby, why don't we go together? Did you know she's going to make me a grandmother? Isn't that sweet of her? <laughs> Let's go, daughter. Vicki, I wanted to tell you how sorry I am about you losing the station. Thank you, Justin.